Welcome back to Folkscape Live. Here we are uh, backstage at the main tent on the ham at the Sidmouth Folk Festival. And I'm joined by uh, Peter Knight and Raina Wynne to talk about this evening's concert. Uh, Salt Lines is the band and Raina is the writer. Peter, welcome. Thanks very much for joining us. You will be playing this evening, but you will not be saying anything or opening your mouth. Well, right at the end I do, um, but that's it. We, it's... Um, <coughs> It's a combination of our music, which are songs that we've collected along the southwest coast path, and uh, Ray, who's written extraordinary words in response to the songs. And Ray, this is, they are extraordinary words, but this is, tell us a little about the structure of how the performance goes this evening. Well, we've, we've woven together the, the words that I've written and, as Peter said, the music, and we've woven it together so that, so that it's created one continual um, sort of audio journey, really, uh, where the, the words evolve from the music and the music wraps around the words. and It's turned into something quite beautiful, I think. And this is, it's called Salt Lines with the Music, but this is from a, 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 an original work that really is your own story, the story of you and, and your husband. That's where it originated from, yes, um, uh, from a walk that I took with my husband round the southwest coast path of uh, the southwest here, 630 miles, and I wrote a book about that journey called Salt Path, which uh, Peter's wife Deborah read, and um, that was the origin of, of Salt Lines, that's where it evolved from. And what's the origin of the music, Peter? Well, it's, we collected songs from around the Salt Path and along the Salt Path, and... Although we tried to find songs that seemed to have some resonance with Ray's book, The Salt Path, um, emotional songs, and uh, although Ray isn't reading anything from The Salt Path, uh, Ray wrote new words for, to, to, um, in response to the songs, which are quite extraordinary. And... I have to say, the first day of rehearsal, when we all got together, we had the songs. We met for the first time, Ray started reading, and I just welled up. And what's extraordinary about this particular show, and I don't like the word show, because it came together in a very organic, lovely way. We had no idea what the response would be uh, to, to an evening of what we put together. Um, and it's been quite extraordinary. Um, and we all love doing it. It's, it's quite something for us. This is really the pure bardic tradition, isn't it, in storytelling and music and separating the narrative and the, and the words uh, from the music and having them sort of pure, distilled, separated from each other to, to reflect uh, emotion on one side and, and the reasons for it on the other. I think so. I think you see that tradition through... through where all our traditional song originates from, there's always that bardic tradition alongside it. And I think we're just carrying that on in, um, as Peter said, in a very organic way, in the way it came together. It feels very natural, very uncontrived, as if it's something that has actually just sprung from the salt path itself. How's the tour gone so far? How have these performances gone so far? Well, extraordinary. I mean, as I say, when we rehearsed, where Ray would read something, we would... And then we would say, are people going to applaud at the end of this? Um, because we really didn't know. And the only thing we could do was to just leave it to the audience, how they responded. But what happens is that within a few minutes, there is an atmosphere created that no-one wants to break. It's, it's tangible. It's a little bit like um, groovy music. In between the beats, there is a tangible feel, although it doesn't exist in that way, but you can feel it. And there's something about what we're doing here with Salt Lines, where the words and the music are just the same thing for me. And I've, I've said in the past that working with Ray is like working with another musician. There is not, you know, us and, and her. You know, it's not a separate thing at all. And we have become a family and we all miss each other when we're not together. You know, we all do other things, but we couldn't wait to see each other today, you know. And it's this 
that has brought us together in the, in the most beautiful way. And for the length of the work, the audience is part of that family, is joining you in that sort of emotional engagement. They are, absolutely. They're as, as enmeshed in the music as the words are, because that's what we try to create in those first few minutes, to take you to some, some other place, to a place outside of the normal every day. And I think the audience are transported there with us, really, yeah, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And when they leave, are they happy people? Goodness, yes. We've had some fantastic waves of emotion coming out of our, um, out of our venues. It's, it's been wonderful to share that with the audience, isn't it? Peter, you're, a, with the, in the politest possible way, you're an old veteran of the folk scene. In fact, you're practically royalty in the folk scene, having, having uh, played your fiddle with Steel Eye Span, just to name one, probably the most famous of very many uh, marks on your CV. Uh, is, this, uh, is this particularly different from anything you've done before? It's the short answer is yes, and of course I've had highlights in my. I don't call it a career. I mean I've stumbled from one musical situation to another. I'm very fortunate to have been in a band like Steel Eye Span, uh, which I left at the end of 2013. Um, this is up there with the highlights. There's no question of that. This is probably the most enjoyable thing that I do. Um, and with playing with Squeezy John as well. John and I play as a duo. We play as a trio, the gig span of trio, and we have the gig span of big band. So this now is my family. And whoever is part of that family, depending on what the gig is. I mean, John and I have uh, played some gigs in Cornwall, and we've asked Ray to come along and read something uh, from one of her books. We don't know, we don't want to know what it is. And then John and I spontaneously improvise a response to raise words. So it's a very loving family and a very creative family. And I'm very pleased to be part of it. On that note, I think I'd better let you go and get ready uh, for this evening's performance. And I'm looking forward to it. For now, let's go into the auditorium.